Hey YouTubes, uh, I know we hadn't done a video here in a couple days, but we've been traveling. Uh, we still read all y'all's comments. Lots of people have been asking for more Optimus 2X videos, so today we're going to do a browser comparison test. Uh, on the left here we have the LG Optimus 2X, uh, which is the dual core phone with the Tegra 2 processor. On the right here we have the uh, Samsung or Google Nexus S, uh, which is the single core phone with the uh, Samsung Hummingbird processor. Uh, these are both clocked at 1 GHz, but this one has two cores. So this is 2 times 1 GHz, and this is 1. Uh, so we're going to do a little browser comparison test. Uh, this one also, I guess I should mention, this is Android 2.2, uh, and this is Android 2.3. We're, we're both are on Wi-Fi on both these, so we got the same internet connection. Let's jump into ESPN.com. Okay, so here goes ESPN.com. Loading up. Uh, this one finished first. This one's still going, loading up these flash ads. For the most part, these are pretty similar over Wi-Fi page load times. Uh, let's do a scroll test on this one. You can see scrolling around, not so bad. So they're scrolling with the dual core. Let's compare it to the single one. This one is also pretty good. Not so bad. Overall pretty good. <laughs> now let's show you pinch the zoom and see how these compare. So pinch the zoom on this one's pretty smooth. You can see that pretty fast. Whenever you dive in, dive out. So pinch the zoom performance, pretty good on ESPN.com. Let's try another one. I just picked this page because it's a heavy page and people wanted to see it. So this one is good. <laughs> Let's see if we can do them side by side. This one uh, seems to be a little, little bit more responsive, the Tiger 2. Nexus S though is pretty good performance. So let's kill these windows. Okay, close everything. Let's try another page. Uh, next we're going to go with CNN.com. Loading up. This one finished a little bit quicker. Again, we are on Wi-Fi, so this one's still going. Uh, let's see. Let's do some pinch zoom over here. Pretty smooth. Oops, I clicked on the story. Back. Oh, CNN. Pinch the zoom over here. Pretty good. Let's go into some video though. Let's do that. Okay. Video. I think I have noticed sometimes when you're doing a large flash video, uh, it seems that videos, the startup time is faster on the dual core. This does have a special version of flash which is hardware accelerated. Um, and this one gave me an error. Uh, so NVIDIA did work with Adobe to deliver a new version of Flash, uh, which was optimized for the dual-core processor. This one's still loading the video up, or the advertisement. But now we got a video playing. And let's show you. Even though we have a video on the page, um, scrolling is still pretty good. There are a few dropped frames in there, but overall pretty good. <laughs> Got a nice iPhone story on here. So, pretty good video on that one. Let's see if we can get this one. Oh, 
Uh, I launched another ad. I don't know if you can see here, the Nexus S actually does handle flash pretty well. There are just the occasional times where the video can be a little choppy. On this one, it's been pretty good though. Pretty smooth video. Oh, let's go into full screen. Okay, so this was flash video. I don't know why I can't go to full screen on this one. Oh, there we go. Uh, you can still see here every now and then there's a little bit of the stutter. I don't know, overall Nexus S is pretty good. It just seems for everyday use, flash video is a lot better on this one. I don't know if that came through in the video test, but that is what I'm telling you from my personal experience with both these phones. Okay, next we're going to try another pretty heavy flash intensive site. And for this one we're going to jump over to Skyfire. Uh, this is just an alternative browser. Um, we like Skyfire because it very easily lets you change your browser agent. So we're set to desktop here. And we're going to go over to another site I like to visit. Uh, UFC. They got lots of videos. It takes a while to load up, even on a desktop computer. Okay, so we got UFC on both of these, and let's go. So here we are loading up. Loaded it and zoomed in mode. Here you can see right away this flash is already taken off. This one over here, still catching up. Come on, Nexus. So let's see how scrolling is on this page. Pinch zoom, scrolling, pretty decent. Uh, let's try over here. Uh, you can see this is just a real heavy sight. <laughs> this one's choking pretty bad. There we go. So let's see if I am lucky enough to play a video on these. I don't know. I want to see if I can play the same video. I don't know if this is going to work for me. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So there's the video loading up on the Tiger 2. Uh, I don't know what happened on this guy. A little bit slower. On a heavy site like this, sometimes it's difficult to interact with these flash players. There we go. Over here, video nice and smooth. Loaded pretty quick. Let's see if we can go full screen. Okay, I don't want to go over 10 minutes. This is a quick test. You know, some of these web pages are really not a huge difference. Some of them, they're actually pretty, pretty competitive. There are sites, though, like this one that are heavy. And for whatever reason, every now and then they just choke this thing out. They just choke the Nexus S out. Overall, though, pretty comparable performance. This one is faster. I hope you can see that in the video. Uh, we're going to be doing some more of these. Tomorrow we'll be doing some more benchmarks. Uh, 
I know benchmarks are the thing everybody's been asking for, but tomorrow we will deep dive into the benchmarks. So check out AndrewMe.com uh, if you want to know more information. Thank you, guys.